the number of U.S. steel bur- births remain incredibly high, especially among black women. And this is something that really angers me as a black man uh, to see uh, so many black people. Uh, I mean, not many of us get and stay married and to see so many black couples who do manage to get married and to the point of wanting to have children and to see this epidemic of children being born dead. I mean, that is devastating to go through an entire pregnancy to have your child come out dead. That is, I cannot imagine the feeling. Okay, I can't imagine the feeling. And I I know as a father and having uh, sons who I can see were impacted uh, by uh, those those doggone satanic medical decisions given at birth. But, man, to go through all that and rush to the hospital. And that's another problem. Shouldn't be having them in these hospitals and to, to sit there and have them actually come out the womb dead. And they call that a stillbirth. Federal officials have released a bleak assessment of the country's progress in understanding and preventing stillbirths, calling the rate an unacceptably high. And this is supposed to be a so-called a so-called civilized. Now, remember, these people claim to be civilized. And don't you dare believe this myth that most women were dying in childbirth, such as back in biblical days. No, it wasn't. Back in biblical days, women were having 20 children, popping them out like it was nothing. Stop believing these European myths. These people are not your our salvation. They have not extended life. We're not living longer. We're not living healthier. We're not living better. We are being systematically poisoned. I just look at this. The National Institute of Health. That's Dr. Anthony Fauci's home. They they have a report titled working to address the tragedy of stillbirth. Twenty thousand pregnancies every year lost at 20 weeks or more. And the baby is born dead and in alarming racial disparities. And that's slowing up the progress. Because a disproportionate amount of those 20,000 stillbirth deaths are from black women or black babies. And so whenever something is disproportionately affecting black people, it doesn't get the attention that it needs. We have transferred our white Jesus complex to the white doctor complex. The white doctor, the white coat, the white hospital. The white hospital bed is still about our addiction and our worship of the white. Just keep on going into these death centers and having them kill and poison and cut and maim and brutalize. And yet we think we're free. We have focused so much of our attention on police brutality that we have we have nothing left to fight against our against our real genocide they say that research shows that as many as one in four of these stillbirth deaths can be preventable simply by watching my video on pregnancy can simply be preventable and and of course and again yes one of the best ways to prevent issues with babies being born is to make sure the baby is born to a stable in a stable home but I mean, these days, it don't matter if you have a loving marriage. If you eating yourself to death and she eating herself to death and you have rotten sperm and she has rotten eggs. Okay, then you still eating a bunch of garbage while the child is in the womb. Then you go to the hospital for they pump you with a bunch of drugs. They rush in the whole process. Breathing in pollution. 20,000 a year? That ain't even including abortion. Don't sit there and tell me the most high loves a nation that does this to innocent children. Black women, twice as likely. In some states, as close as three times as likely as white women to have a stillbirth. The national stillbirth rate for black women that year was 10.3 per 1,000 For white women, it was just 4.7. 
But it's not just black babies who are dying at a disproportionate rate. So are the mothers. The same week that the National Institute of Health Steel Birth Report was released, the CDC issued a separate report on maternal mortality that found that the rate of mothers dying while pregnant or shortly after birth increased in 2021, while the maternal mortality in black women was more than double that of white women. It ends this Friday, March 31st. It's pretty much here, brothers and sisters. The March Madness phone consultation special. It is ending. Bookings come with a 25% store-wide discount code. 10-minute phone calls for just $25. $50 for 20 minutes, $75. Seniors, $75 video consultations. 888-847-8026. 888 888- 847 8026. Call and get booked on my schedule now. You have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's it. The Minister of Wellness.com 888 847 8026. That's 888 847 8026. Senator Jeff Merkley said the steel birth report, coupled with ProPublica's reporting, and the most recent CDC data on maternal mortality underscores the fact that still births and maternal mortality are shockingly high in the United States compared with similarly developed nations and that black women are paying the highest price. They're killing off hop. They're destroying us. Lock up the black men, dumb down the black men, obesify the black women, pump us with toxic movies like Color Purple. And, I mean, whew. so now we got a 20, 20 to 25 percent marriage rate. And then most of our marriages fail within five years. Then even when we do get married, we had a high risk of having our children born dead. Then even if they do make it out of the womb, we're looking at a half autism rate. This is the United. This is this is freedom. This is freedom being poisoned every single second of every single day. May the most high have mercy on us all. Watch my video on pregnancy women. I have a pregnancy video. Brothers, watch my video on, on male health for black men. I have a video on health for black women. We have to eat for self-defense. That's our first line. But of course, they're trying to poison fruits and vegetables. But we have to do the best we can. We have to do the best we can. How long? Not long, brothers and sisters. These abominable reptilian devils. Understand this. Understand this. You have a promise from the most high God of our ancestors. They will reap what they sow. Visit the minister of wellness.com, the minister of wellness.com and support our online store. We literally have everything that you need for any condition that you're trying to overcome. Our very powerful, organic, high quality supplements such as our radiation-free USDA organic Irish sea moss, dulce weed, lose 100 pounds in 100 days book, biblical principle books. We have all the essential vitamins and minerals that you need, information pack DVDs, everything that you need to thrive in living your best life can be found at the ministerofwellness.com under store the minister of wellness.com under store. If you need help placing an order or navigating through our 100 plus different products, please call 888-847-8026, 888-847-8026. Please donate brothers and sisters. If this video has blessed you, donations help cover costs such as live streaming, recording, events, inventory, shipping, employees giving to the needy, free consultations, and much more. Please don't complain if you're, if you're ignoring our request to give an offering. Send a quick tie the love offering to dollar sign minister of wellness. That's dollar sign minister of wellness. That's a quick cash app. Or visit the minister of wellness.com forward slash give the minister of wellness.com forward slash give for the many other ways you can be a blessing to the ministry on the front lines in the war on health for our people. Thank you in advance and may the most high richly bless you for your generosity.